Today I'm going to show you how to work with our brand new graphical user interface template files created by Blackman Signature Designs for use with our BC4 Project Editor software and Bitwise Touch app for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. The first thing we'll do is start with an existing project. You can see in this project I've already added some IR devices, uh, some activity macros, and some favorite channel macros. To import a new GUI group, simply right-click on the GUIs node and click Import GUI Group. Then browse to your template file, double-click it, and it will be imported into your project. As you can see, the template file has been imported to the project along with all of the pages that are associated with that group. Now let's start customizing the template. To begin, let's go to the main activities page and edit that. As you can see, the main activities page is already set up with a number of the most common audio video activities that you would typically use in an installation. Each one of these activity icons already includes page navigation to go to the corresponding GUI page for each activity. All we need to do is add the activity macros that we want to take place when we switch activities. To do this, I'm going to use one of the great new features that we've added to Project Editor. And that's the ability to drag device commands and macros straight from the project tree onto the GUI editor. So for our DirecTV activity, I want to assign that button the watch DVR macro that I've already defined. So I'll go to my project tree, select the watch DVR macro, and just drag it onto that activity. When I drug that macro onto the GUI button, you may have noticed that a P appeared in the leftmost status box. These status boxes are in place so you can see quickly at a glance what the programming state is for each of the buttons. A P indicates that there is an action programmed for the press action of that button. The center box would have an R in it if there was an action programmed for the release state of the button. And the N indicates that there is a navigation action associated with the button. If we go into this button properties, you can see the images associated with it, that navigation item, and the on press command that we just drug onto it, which is the watch DVR macro. Previously, all of these changes had to be made through this properties window. But now, you can save time by dragging all these activities, commands, and navigation items directly from the project tree onto your buttons. To continue setting up the home page, drag all of your activity macros onto the associated activity icons. Now let's work on customizing one of our device or activity pages. So let's go to this cable satellite page and edit that. As you can see, we've got a pretty complete page consisting of pretty much all the buttons you would want to use to control a cable or satellite receiver. You might also notice that there are a number of placeholder images across the top for quick launch buttons, which are used to quickly switch between activities without having to go back to the home page first. We'll talk more about those in a minute. For now, let's look at the process to add commands to each of these device control buttons on this page. All I need to do is go to the device that needs to be controlled on this page and start dragging the commands from the project tree onto the GUI buttons. For example, I'll just drag that right onto the one button. And as you can see, by the button status box, I have now dragged that IR command action onto the press state for that button. I can continue down the line and just drag my commands from the project tree onto the buttons. For some buttons, like volume controls, you might want to have an IR command be continuously sent while the button is held down, for instance for ramping volume up or down. We can do this by dragging and dropping too. Let's go to the device whose volume we want to control, in this case our AV receiver. If I hold the ALT button down while dragging and dropping my commands onto a button, I will drop a continuous IR send action 
onto the press state of the button. And if I hold the shift button down and drag it onto the button, I will drop a cancel continuous IR command onto the release state of the button. So if I now look at my button properties, I can see that on press, I will start sending the volume up command to the AV receiver continuously, and on release, it will cancel sending that continuous IR command to the AV receiver. So we can do the same thing with the volume down commands by holding Alt to drag a continuous IR command onto the press action and holding Shift to drag a cancel continuous IR command onto the release action. Now let's talk about customizing this quick launch menu at the top of each GUI page. Another great new feature we've added to Project Editor is the ability to drag image files from folders in Windows Explorer directly onto GUI buttons to replace the images. Let's go ahead and replace the placeholder images for one of these quick launch menu items with a new image from our image folder. I'll open up my images folder in Windows Explorer and choose the image I want to replace my placeholder. And I'll just drag the image directly onto that quick launch menu icon. And I'll hold shift and drag it on again so that I have the image for both my press and release states of the button. We still need to add the activity macro and the GUI page navigation that we want to take place when this button is pressed. So we'll go back to our project tree and I'll choose my watch Blu-ray macro that I've already created. Just drag that directly onto the button. Now back at the project tree again, I'll go into my pages and find the DVD Blu-ray page and drag that onto the button. And now we can tell by our button status boxes that we've added the press action and a navigation action to this button. And once again, by looking at the button properties, I can see that the navigation has been set to that DVD Blu-ray page and that my on press action is to run the macro watch Blu-ray, which will set up all the components in my AV system to watch a Blu-ray. You can use the same techniques to complete the entire quick launch menu, as well as customize the activity icons that are on the main activity pages 1 and 2, which serve as the home pages for activity selection.